Hi everyone, it's Yaz, and today's video is going to be a very quick video showing you some items I just received. And the items I received came from Influencer, and it's their Latina Beauty Box Box for 2012. In case you're unfamiliar with Influencer, I'll put the link down below so that you can either sign up or check it out for more information and see if it's for yourself. But basically, it's a website, you can sign up for it, and the website allows you to earn what they call badges. And they have different badges for various aspects of your life, whether you're a mom or a bride or if you're very green and into recycling if you're into beauty and if you're into blogging vlogging and all sorts of things like that so you can earn certain badges every I guess month or every other month I'm really not sure how often they come out with these boxes but if you've earned certain badges that can qualify you for certain boxes they will then send you a box I think it's great it's absolutely free the last box I got from them was actually my first box that I received from them and it was their spring beauty I believe or I don't know something like that and I got a bunch of items and I used everything in that box the chapstick they sent in that box I still have in my pocketbook I've been using it all summer long it's absolutely great I love it but I understand this month's box is actually products from companies that are hoping to reach more of a Latino base so that's why they've reached out to Latinas in this box particularly Let's open up the box and see what's inside. They send one of these with every single box they send out. And on one side it just says Influencer Latina Beauty Box Box 2012. And on the on the opposite side it just basically tells you about your Latina Beauty Box Box and the items that you will find inside. So I'm just going to very quickly read the top portion which says Enclosed is your Latina Box Box of fun products that you have been selected to test, evaluate, and recommend. To get started, please log into your Influencer account to check in your Box Box. We'll be in touch with additional instructions and a reminder about your post experience survey. Here's a peek inside the box of all the goodies that await you. Another thing about Influencer that I completely forgot to mention is that the items they send you are in fact free, but they send them to you in the hopes that you will want to review them and share your views on them. And you don't necessarily have to have a YouTube page, and you don't necessarily have to have thousands of subscribers. You can have a blog where you don't do videos and you just share your reviews in that sense. You can also share your experiences with these products on the Influencer page which is what they recommend and that way you earn more badges and more possibilities of earning future boxes but you can also go to like the product page and share your views on them you can also you know they're hoping that you would also recommend them to your friends and family people in your community people that you have a relationship day to day with so that's what they're hoping for when they send you these products you are not by any means required to positively review these items or to share your views on them. If you want to get the box and keep the stuff and not review it, that's fine. You probably won't qualify for any future boxes or you may have to wait a while before you get another one because again, they're a company and this is their business. What they're hoping for is that you will pass the word along. Let's just get right into it. So I am just going to pull out the first item that I saw when I opened this box and it is the NYC liquid lip shine lip gloss I am very familiar with the NYC products if you take a look on my channel you will see that there are about I don't know five to eight videos I think on different NYC products and overall I think that this is a great line to start out with and I think this is a really pretty color it is what's the color it's called 582 nude nude and U D E nude york city i really like this color it seems like a really pretty nude color and it does have a bit of shimmer in it it's not overbearing which i like i don't like a lot of glitter on my lips especially once the lip gloss dries up then it just looks awful it just looks really bad i don't like it so this says that it's going to give you glossy shine and soften your lips. So I guess it might have like a bit of a lip balm in it. That's the NYC New York Color Liquid Lip Shine. It retails for $2.49. Keep your lips soft as ever with the NYC New York Color Liquid Lip Shine. Its pure pigment ingredients create a 3D gloss effect while vitamin E provides shine and moisture. The non-sticky formula creates the ultimate creamy and soft textured feel. Available in 10 on-trend shades from neutral nudes to berries and fuchsias. So I really like the fact that they actually said in their description that it's non-sticky and that it does provide moisture. So 
I'm hoping that is the case because if so, I'm definitely going to absolutely love this product. And for $2.49 for lip gloss, you really can't beat that. The color is really pretty. I'm glad that I got a nude color and not one of the stronger colors. I tend to like my lip glosses more on the nude side, so I really do like this color. So the next item I see here is from Bath & Body Works, which I absolutely love. In the other box they sent us, I received a Bath & Body Works um, fragrance mist, which I absolutely love. It's been my go-to spray for the summer. I haven't really used any of my perfumes unless I was going to like a wedding or something like that. For every day, I've been using it and I still have a lot left and it smells really pretty. I absolutely loved, loved, loved it. This is... Bath & Body Works Twilight Woods Shea Enriched Shower Gel and it's from their signature collection. I like the smell of this. It's very perfumey though, I must admit. It is very perfumey which I actually don't mind. I tend to use body like scrubs and shower gels that are less intense just because that's what I naturally gravitate to but this doesn't bother me. But it is strong. I think if it was any stronger than this, I probably would not like it. Like, it's just on the border of strong and too strong. But I do like it. I don't know what that smell is, though. Let's see what they say. New Bath & Body Works Shame Rich Signature Collection Shower Gel. And this retails for $5 for the mini shower gel, which is 3 ounces, which is the one that I have. And $11 for the full-size shower gel, which is 10 ounces. Now they say this is new and improved shower gel now with shea. Our extensive formula is now enriched with shea butter making it our richest bubbliest lather that gives you softer cleaner skin. Moisturizing aloe vera and skin loving vitamin E combined for lather that bursts with fragrance. So for days that I'm probably just going to be you know running around the house running errands and I don't want to put anything on my body just because I I don't know if I'm weird like that. I don't know if any of you are out there are like that as well. I just sometimes don't want to feel anything. I feel like it makes me feel sticky. Like if I put a perfume or a body spray and I start to sweat, I don't like it. So this is probably going to be really great for days like that. I'm interested to see what other ones they have out there. And I love shea butter, so I'm hoping this really is going to be really moisturizing. The next item looks similar to an item they had in last month's box. I didn't get last month's box. I think it was like a summer beauty box or something like that. Even that box they also had a product from Hawaiian Tropic. It looks similar to it but I'm not really sure if this is the same one. I didn't get the box as I said so I really wouldn't know. And it says new Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Lotion Sunscreen. It has broad spectrum SPF 30. It says 12 hour moisturization with hydrating ribbons. And it's water resistant for 80 minutes. Light and non-greasy. And it definitely did not feel and it definitely does not feel greasy at all. I feel like it's that typical Hawaiian Tropic scent. Not as strong and like it may have something else in there. It doesn't say. This is the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Lotion Sunscreen and the full size bottle retails for $7.99. It doesn't say how many ounces are in the full size bottle so I can't really tell you. Moisturize and protect your skin with Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Lotion Sunscreen. The dual ribbon hydrating formula infused with luxurious silk protein and rich shea butter provides continuous 12 hour moisture and broad spectrum UVA and UVB protection that won't break down in the summer sun. It's available in SPF 12, 30, and 50. So this one's 30. This one's right in the middle. So I really do like the scent. It's not overbearing. The lotion itself is not really heavy and thick or anything like that, which is perfect for summer. As much as I need extra hydration from spending extra time in the sun, the last thing I want to do is walk around with heavy lotion on my body. It just it doesn't feel good. And when you start sweating, ugh, gross. So I'm really interested in trying this out. I'm definitely going to give it a try for the next probably like week or so and see how much I like it and see if I would repurchase this. I love the smell though, love the smell. The next item in here, I believe this is also from a previous box. Anyway, this is the Always Tampax Radiant and it came in a box like this. And I believe this is like a little, like kind of like a cosmetics bag basically. And it says new collection and it comes with a purse, a scented pad, three unscented daily liners, and two unscented tampons. So let's just open it up and see what it looks like. I don't know if it was last month's box or the box before that. 
I remember seeing this. I'm pretty sure. I didn't receive either one of those, so I couldn't tell you. So it comes with this pretty cute cosmetics bag. I probably wouldn't have purchased it for myself. And we opened it up, and inside, we see as I'm sure what they indicated. I do like the little bag. I think it's really cute when you want to be discreet. Probably really great for younger girls who are just starting out, who may be really self-conscious about it, who in school don't want to walk around with a tampon or a maxi pad in their hands. They feel really self-conscious about it. So something like this is really, really great. I remember when I was younger, I used to just wrap it in like a, a paper towel so that no one else would know. Or I would take my bag with me to the bathroom and then take it out. Just because when you're younger, you're just a little bit embarrassed about it. It's something new and you feel a little icky about it. So I think for that purpose, the little baggie is great. I'll let you guys know how I feel about the actual products. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. We have Beat. And I do like Beat. I use their hair depilatory cream. I do like it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of these strips. This contains 40 full-size wax strips. I'm not a huge fan of them because they never really seem to work for me or they always seem a little too painful so I don't know maybe I just wasn't doing it right I'll definitely give it a try this is probably a full size product I'm gonna say these are the ready to use wax strips hair remover and these are for your legs and body and it's a sensitive formula with almond oil and vitamin E and it contains 40 full size wax strips let's see how big is the full size oh those are big okay so that's the size of a strip. So that's the size of a strip. It's um almost about the size of my hand. And it is about that wide. If you can see right there. It's about that wide and that long. The actual sticky part. The wax part. I'm going to try it out. I mean, I have 40 of them. I might as well, right? So I'm going to definitely try these out. I hope they're not as painful as other ones that I've tried in the past. I hope that they work. These are the Beat Ready to Use Wax Strips for Leg and Body. These retail for $9.99. And this summer, keep your skin smooth for longer with Beat Ready to Use Wax Strips for Leg and Body. These strips are specially formulated to remove hair on legs, underarms, and bikini area from closer to the root than shaving for smoothness that's la that lasts up to four weeks. And the last item in my box is from Always, and it's the Always Radiant Infinity Pads. And it says on the box that there are $5 of coupons inside. So that's always cool. So these are the same as what I received in my bonus to share item. Um, these are the same as these. So this is basically what I got. This contains 16 pads. So this is definitely a full-size product. This is what you would see if you walked into your local drugstore. And it says that these retail for $6.99. So they're not cheap for $16. And the Always Radiant Infinity Pads feature a unique technology, they call it Infinice, Infinice, that conforms to each individual shave delivering premium protection and performance. The pads offer light clean scent and micro dots for fast absorption to help women stay feeling fresh. A wider back and flexible wings provide increased coverage where you need it the most. This month's box probably retailed for about 15 to 20 bucks or so so again if you are not familiar with influencer definitely check out their link down below um, it's not an affiliated link or anything like that it's just their website check them out so I pretty much have loved I would say about 90% of the stuff I received for influencer including the last box that I got this box hands down there is nothing I would not try out at least in this month's box um, give it a try. You have absolutely nothing to lose. It's absolutely free. You just have to put in a little bit of time to earn some badges that will hopefully qualify you for future boxes. But I think it's a great program. Definitely check it out if you haven't so far. So that's it guys. Those are the items that I received from Influester in their Latina Beauty Box Box for 2012. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye.